<sighs> Valheim. This game's an early access. Survival, crafting. It's like 500 megabyte download. Very, very small. Only 20 bucks. It's an early access. Already a lot of folks... Who I'm seeing a lot of buzz from streamers and even the reviews on Twitch saying that like, this is one of their favorite games in this genre. Um, I don't think we're far enough in to kind of really understand what it's all about, but just a couple things that I've noticed just in playing yesterday. The fact that you can just repair all your items when you come back to your camp for free, just clicking a button, doesn't cost you tons of resources. And the fact that if you make a mistake placing something, whether it's a wall or a ceiling, and you can, you can discard it and get all your mats back. So you can pick up and move your house and keep all your mats. Like those kind of convenient things, really nice. I also like the fact that they gave you like a clear objective. You know, they're like, beat this boss. And like, go get powerful enough so you can beat this boss. I like that. We beat the first boss yesterday. A lot of you folks bet against me. We bet channel currency whether or not I would beat the first boss on the first attempt, which I did. Yeah. You did manage to kill the boss last night. You speared it to death. Really wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Especially when you craft 40 flaming arrows. Fire arrows, whatever you want to call them. And you just run around. Alright, this is my very, very awesome... Humble abode. You can see I'm very good at roof work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I built this. I Believe it or not, uh, I built all of this myself. <laughs> it's third person? It is. Yes, it is. You can zoom in and out, too. Uh, good ventilation, I know, right? All right, and I collected some stuff yesterday. Like last night, I was telling you. I just wanted to have extra amounts of stuff. So our mission today is to go south where this corpse is, where my corpse is. Um, what is it called? The Black Forest is the next zone we've got to look at. And there's there's also like a cave dungeon thing down there. So let's get let's get ready for that. I'm gonna need bones. There's stuff I can if I get if I pick up the flint. I have some flint. Let, let me just. Let me just see if there's anything I can upgrade before we leave. Do I have flint? Yes, I have some flint. Do you have flints? I have flints. I have lots of flints. Did I hang the trophy uh, of the boss? I hung the trophy of the boss, yeah. Oh, look at me. I can't even get over here. Ugh. All right, upgrade. So I could upgrade the hoe, the hammer. All right, this is an easy upgrade. We do that. Hammer. Stop. Hammer time. Upgrade it again. Yeah, two stone. Oh, that was the stone hammer. Never mind. I'm dummy. Flint axe. Can I upgrade that? I can. Upgrade. No, oh, no, it has to be level three. So how do you get the workbench to level three? Alex says, do you not care for pure open-end sandbox games like Minecraft? They're not what I typically like to play, Alex. I have played a lot of Minecraft, surprisingly. Um, mine, those type of games, the second that I feel like I've seen most of the different types of monsters, I've seen kind of what the treasure and what the... Once the exploration thing is kind of done, I lose interest. I am not a builder. I, I can't make, like, nice houses. I, like, I just don't have the mind to sit here and make something beautiful. Like, so I... I, I, I kind of nope out at that. I don't want to just... And I don't like to automate things either. I know a lot of those type of games, like, oh, but wait till you get, like, you know, the monster spawn, or, you know, you can generate 
sugar in this generator. I whatever it is. I, I don't like automating things. I don't like building things. So once the exploration phase is done for these type of games, I kind of lose interest. Yeah. Equip the hammer and then mouse right click. Okay. No, I'm carrying too much. Chopping block, I already have that, right? Oh, this is another workbench improvement. The tanning rack. Oh. Now, if I build this here, like I said, if I if I want to tear it down later, I get all the mats back, right? Yeah, I like having objectives. You're right. You're right, Edan. Okay, so I can build this and not worry about... There we go. Level three. Sweet. Use the workbench. Okay. So now my flint axe, we can go all the way up to level three. Come in. Oh. And then I can upgrade it again. No, no, no. Where's the flint? Okay. So now, now it needs four. Okay. You do get the mats back. That's great. Okay. So my hammer. We can do the hammer. Level three hammer. Might as well upgrade my hoe. And the hoe again. No need to upgrade a stone axe when I have a flint axe, correct? I don't have the bones for the leather pants. Yeah, we gotta get bones. That's correct. Okay, so I don't even need the stone axe anymore. So can I just, like, go dump this? Where's my stone axe? Yeah, we don't need a stone axe. Is there an indication that a tanning rank was what is needed to upgrade? Is there something Box not seeing, or is it just kind of obscure right now? That's a good question, whether or not I'm missing how to upgrade stuff. But I think, I think, uh, I think what happens is, if you just go to the crafting, the workbench, it doesn't tell you how to upgrade it. At least that I can see. But, if you go to your hammer, and you go over here to furniture, oh, I'm sorry, you go over here to crafting, you can see... This is a workbench improvement. This is also a workbench improvement. And this is just a beehive. Yeah. It's the star in the corner. Okay, so we don't know what the next upgrade is yet. I can make a raft though, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> and this is just a bee beehive. Yeah, what is a beehive? I guess it's going to produce honey. I, I can actually make this. Let's go make it. I have a queen bee. Why not make it? Split a stack. I have two queen bees, in fact. A beehive is a place where bees live. Yes, I think that's right. I think I've heard that. Should I make this outside? I feel like I should make it outside. <laughs> this seems like a horrible idea. <laughs> okay, and I have a beehive in here. <laughs> Check bees. The bees need more open space. Oh. So how do I tear it down? Like that. I could eat another bite. I could, huh? Missing requirement. Workbench. Oh, it has to be near enough to the workbench, though. Interesting. Can I put it, like, directly outside? What was that? Oh, that was my run skill leveling up. Ah, uh -huh. okay. I can put it right there. Fine. 
Check bees. The bees are happy! Yes! Well, that's good. I was talking to uh, Azari about the graphics in this game a little bit yesterday, and you can see when I zoom in my character, my character's armor and stuff is very pixelated. The grass is very pixelated and stuff. But when you zoom out and you look around the world and like you see the world tree up there, I'm like, it is really pretty. And I think what's very clever is not only is each world procedurally generated, so, you know, if you spawn into a world, it's going to look different than mine. But the entire game fits on like 500 megabytes. So it's like, yeah, we may not have the most high quality textures in the game, at least yet, it's still early access. But there's something to be said about a game that's not like 50 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes these days. Yeah, you know? It's not one of those situations where you're sitting there going, huh. Should I have this game installed or this game installed? I can't have both. All right, let's go back in here. We made a beehive. What else can we upgrade? All right, nothing else can be upgraded with my current mats because, well, do I have any bone fragments do I have? I know I have a few. I have three. That chest is empty. I only have three. Okay, so we're going to need to fight some skeletons today, which... Is good because I think where we're going, there's going to be skeletons. Anything else I need? Do I need a flint knife? Sure. What does a knife do? Can I upgrade the knife? Yes. You fight baddies with it? Oh, it's a weapon? Okay. I don't have enough to make a flint spear. Okay. It gets huge backstab bonuses. Really? Interesting. Even against skeletons? Okay. All right. I'm going to go drop some stuff off over here. We're gonna rest up and we're gonna go. Actually, should I cook? Where's my meats? Yeah, I, I need some foods. Well, I don't need some foods, but. Oh, I don't have a lit fire. How do I light the fire? How do you light the fire once it goes out? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that's not right. Is there a way to put wood on this? Oh, here we go. Fire. There we go. Use wood. Okay. Put that torch away before you burn yourself. I said put your torch away. God, they don't listen. They don't listen to me. Are these done? Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Hey, look, guys. I didn't let it burn. All right. We're going to... Let's put some food. Okay. Nine food will be down here. We'll put the raw food here. I'm going to keep some raspberries on me for this journey. Uh, we'll put these down here, these down here, and this down here. For whatever reason, I keep tails in this, this place. Tails and mushrooms. Alright, and these are our equipped items. So we'll put these in the corner. I have 18 arrows, 60 fire arrows. Um. Flint axe does more damage than the club, right? I don't know if I need a club. So let's put our knife... 
or flint axe, antler pickaxe. Yeah, bow. I don't want my bow to be closer. And then the hoe over, all the way over there. All right, let's do it like that. I think we're ready. Sleep. If I hunting skeletons, I do want a club. Okay, good. You dream of a great tree reaching out throughout the night. One half of its branches crackle with flames. The other are green with leaves. Hi, Remy. What's going on? Day 15. Alright, so I do have a level... What, what level was my club? Let me get it. It's a level 1 club. That's a bad club. Can I upgrade my club? Oh, it needs five bone fragments to update a club. All right, well, sucks to be me. I'm going on an adventure. All right, we're heading south to the Black Forest. We do see any aminals on the way by. Okay, I sucked that up. Dead balls. Oh. Whoa! Jim jumping Jehoshaphat. Where'd it go? Whoa! Teleporting more? Wow, he's got a, he's a one star too. Oh, you suck. Does he have anything special? I see you, I see you Grayling. Trying to sneak up on me. All right, what does this say? Yeah, wild boar roam. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots from the ground are their pleasure. Does that mean mushrooms? I wouldn't think roots of the ground is a mushroom. It could be. The deer are so hard to sneak up on. Especially when I'm like sprinting full speed through the forest. Hi, Cyber Monk. Electric trouble with the snow and freezing. Best thing ever finally fixed. Okay, good. I don't know what you got fixed, but it sounds like it was important. I don't know if I should really be picking up stone. Oh, I see a deer. Okay, here we go. Perfect shot. Yes! I got a deer trophy. See, this is a nice little clearing. I should have made my uh, town over here. I did that a lot yesterday while I was roaming around last night after the stream. I kept saying, this would have been a good place for a base. This would have been a good place for the base. Electric trouble with snowing. Oh, the half of the house was out of electricity, so no PC, no warm water. Oh, God. Glad they have that fixed. All right, are we going to get to the Black Forest soon? I would think so.
can eat more raspberries. Yeah, I think this is the edge of the forest here. Yeah, okay, I can see the dungeon that we went in. We went into this dungeon briefly, and I got scared. And I bravely ran away. All right. Uh, put my club on. Any skeletons around? The dungeon entrance? Want to say hello? Oh, what's that? All right, let's go in the dungeon. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Let me ask a question. Should I make like a, a, a like a small little house here with a with a bed? Because if I die, I'm coming back from about up here. You would? Sure, why not? Well, because I'm gonna have to punch rocks and trees. That's why not. That's a little boring. Easiest to take over abandoned houses. Yeah, I didn't see one though. I mean, I don't see one like right here. Yeah, the why not is only because I'd have to farm up some wooden stuff, right? If you thought it, it's a good idea. Like, I'm not going to spend like a ton of time on it, but I do suck at building, so. What are the minimum things I have to make? A couple walls. I have to make a workbench, a bed, a fire. It's boring to watch, Brew Brew. Maybe not boring to do. Oh, there's blueberries? I never had a blueberry. New item, blueberry. Delicious. I tried something different. Yes. That's a one star. Come here, one star. Uh oh. It's a gray dwarf. This is tougher. I kind of want to work on my blocking by letting him hit me. Come on, hit me. Let me guess I get his eyeballs. No? No eyeballs for that one. What is that? I don't need to build a base. There's a base right there for me. Did I pick up the other deer? Can I do a lean to? I don't know. I don't. Maybe. I'm sure this is... I'm sure nobody will mind if I rested in here. Blueberries. Blueberries. Hello? I just need a place to stay out of the cold. Hello? This is perfect. Just gotta make sure there's no bad guys living here. That sounded like a big bad guy living here. What the hell's up with this? I can't even get... Oh, there's a skeleton up there. No crap. No crap. What am I hitting? That's hitting the wall and not the tree, huh? All right. 
Uh oh. Don't kill the stairs that I'm on. I can't get to the skeleton. I wish this was Fortnite. I could just build a ramp up there. Uh, a ladder? Maybe. I can't. Can I can't craft a ladder? Can I? Yes, I can. I need a workbench to craft ladders. You probably could have jumped from the side. Kind of wish building wasn't tied to having a workbench near you. Yeah, I hear you. Um, let's try to build a workbench. Did I just get hurt? I think I did. Can I build a workbench down here? Yes. I don't know how the ventilation is going to be down here. Doesn't matter there's a skeleton living here. I'm sure he's fine to live with. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to set a spawn point. Yeah, that's true. Claim the bed. What? There's a perfectly good roof here. What are you talking about? It needs a roof. Bed needs a roof. Oh, great. All right, so what do I what do I need to do? How do I fix this? Floors don't count as roofs. Okay, so... I like that I have a skeleton permanently up here. Have the, I don't have two wood. I used all my wood. Don't log out. What are you doing? I didn't mean to activate the power of Ekthir, but I did. That's going to fall right on my house. Actually, that one's going to fall right on our right house. I'm going to do a smaller tree. I'm not knocking down no giant tree out here. Hey, fur cone. That's new. putting a nice straw bed right beside the fire. Okay. Ladder time. A 
We got a chest up here too? And bone fragments, which we needed. Oh, nice. Take all, and now I can put resources here. <laughs> See that? Like an animal head and pine cones and seedlings. And we don't need all this stuff. Okay. I really want to get rid of this tree. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm hitting the tree though. Alright, so I need to build a roof here. Will this count as being like above my bed? I should chop that tree down at ground level? I should. It's annoying me. You're right. But I'm afraid of it like falling on me. Uh, can I? Bed needs a roof. Okay, it didn't work yet. This is the tree, right? This is gonna be terrible. Does it matter where you chop it? Stop breaking my house! It can't hurt the stone house, is it? It was, it was hurting it. It literally hurt it. Hey, Dragon Tears. I could eat another bite. Well, you'll have to wait. We're busy. I need like a step to get up there. All right, that needs a roof. Now. Now I don't have a dumb tree like in the way up here, which is nice. It's a little cramped. All right. It doesn't work. Start with the big one, right? That I start with, and I think. I need to redo these too. And we'll put these up like that. Sometimes it's a little fidgety. Like that's overlapping. I really don't want it to overlap much. Okay, now if I do this roof, is it gonna fit? Doesn't fit. You think building needs work on the game? You have so much trouble getting things to snap properly? True, I think I agree with that.
Yeah, you've done a similar thing, Arcturian. You dropped multiple trees on a hillside above my house. They all rolled down and brought down the back walls. Yeah. I think it does, yeah. Put up a wall, then attach that roof. Put up a wall, then attach that top roof to its side. That's how it's got to work. Like, wait, so take this down and put up a wall first? Are they the same height? I, I can't tell. No, no. No. Put a wall up. On the third side. Like here. Like that. And over here. That one's not as tall, though. Really doesn't matter what it looks like. Something like that. Something like that. I think this is good enough. Okay. Is that good enough? I feel more secure. I feel like the rain's not getting in. I keep I keep hurting myself when I jump down. Yay! Spawn point set! Okay. It's a temporary house, other guy. Okay. It's the home away from home. This is actually pretty cozy. Should I sleep? How do you tell what time of day it is? All right, we're going to go to a dungeon. We have enough room to... Uh, to get stuff? I think so. How many wood arrows? How many wood arrows do I have? Nine. Sure. There we go. We're at 99. Wait, I think we're good. All right, let's go to the dungeon. Let's all go to the dungeon. Oh, let me go repair my stuff. Let me repair my stuff. Now I'm ready to go to the dungeon. Map point. Oh, good point. Here's here's my home away from home away from home now. Right there. Thank you. Okay. It's what a great day to go out to the dungeon, everyone. Ha! Ah! The hell is this? It's a brute. Are you alone? Holy crap. I don't want to use that weapon. Oh, you're not alone. Let's all go to the dungeon. Let's all go to the dungeon. Is that still my house? Yeah, that's my house. I should mark where the dungeon is. <laughs> Hello. 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 Gray dwarf. Okay. Okay. Okay, stop telling me about the boars. Are you going to attack me? What? I was being friendly. Ah, what are you throwing at me?
Okay, let me mark the dungeon. Okay. That was a big copper deposit. I don't have a shield, no. Have I met anything big yet? I beat the first boss, Arcterian, but don't spoil other things, yeah. Where was the big... Should I go back to the big copper deposit? I don't know what it looks like. What does it, it look like? This? There's so many bad guys out. That was it just next to the dungeon. Oh. Should I have a shield? Now you made me worried. Like this thing? It's a rock. Right side of the dungeon. Shaman? Hey. I killed the shaman. How come the shaman doesn't have anything cool? Right side of the dungeon. I'm not seeing it, gang. Maybe, maybe if it was not dark out. It's huge? What are you... This? Oh, this. That just looks like ground. Whoa! Okay. Copper ore. Oh, hello. That's a two-star shaman. And I have been poisoned. Well, that's great. Thank you. I'm gonna die. Whoa, holy moly! Oh, I got her. Needs food badly. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Okay! we go. Oh my goodness, you are back for more. That's surprising. Most people run away. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. How hard do you nerd? Thanks so much for the resub. My mouth is full. It was very good that we built this base here. Raw ore needs to be refined in a smelter before you can work out the forge. To build the smelter, you'll need certainly cores. Search for them in the dark places beneath the earth. Hey, I'm going to a dungeon. What the hell's a certainly core? I don't know what that means. A certainly core? We nerd pretty hard here. Yeah, that's true. When he tosses green stuff in the air, that's a heal. You don't need to avoid it. Okay. I need a certain curl. Are you going to put everything back in the right spot? All right. Nice. Nice. All right. We'll get ore later. Let's go in the dungeon. Burial chambers. Hey, I have to put my clothes on. I'm feeling rather nude. Just wait for me. I'm putting my pants on. I don't like these noises. Yellow mushroom. I ate the yellow mushroom. I also need a raspberry and a blueberry. It's 
So is this ore here? Now down this way, we found a skeleton. Day 16. Ah! That's my text message. Hello. Rancid remains. Okay, I have been poisoned. Man, these remains are rancid. Oh, hi, you brought friends. I'm on fire. Just stay there, guys. How do I heal? Are you breaking my fire down? Don't break my fire down. Look out! Aww. I feel like that was close. They actually, they don't like my fire. That's great. They actually like fire bad. If I can craft one, a shield would help a lot. Yeah, but... I don't have my stuff. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to get the stuff, come all the way back, and then go. Fire is bad down there. It fills the room with smoke. All right, so do I have ways to heal really yet or just keep myself well fed and avoid damage? I can't really heal, right? Have a good day, Play Shawnee. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm assuming I really don't have a way to get rid of poison. You might actually be in a more difficult dungeon. Oh, I may. Burial chambers. Can I put my armor on, dude? Let me put my pants on before we fight. Then we'll fight. Alright, I'm gonna have to rest up. Nope, no healing yet. Just well fed and you get back health over time. Alright. There you go, you bony bastard. I got my fur cone back. Oh, good. Alright, bone fragments. All right, let's start this way. Should I get rid of my, uh... All right, right hand rule. All right, I'll pick up a mushroom. Dead end? Okay, dead end. So we're done with that way. Go this way next. All right. It's right hand rule, so we ignore that door for now. Okay. Wood arrow. Wrong room! I'm sorry! You go on doing whatever you're doing. That looks evil. That look, whatever you're doing in there looks definitely evil. Come over here. You're gonna shoot me? We have a one drink minimum. There you go. And uh, it's your turn. Is this a skeleton spawner? This looks like a spawner. I feel like bam, 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 bam. Woo! 
Give me the bone fragments. Yeah, I should have let it keep summoning, actually. Get more bone fragments. I'm up to six. That's still not enough. Certainly cooler. Ruby times two. Certainly cooler. No room in inventory. Get this pine cone out of here. I can make a charcoal kiln. Charcoal kiln. Give me that. Tackling fuel. Chest. Take all. Oh, nice. Amber pearls. Amber pearls. Amber. Okay, there we go. Amber on the table. It's hard to see, too, right? Can I make a what? Take a break. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I take a break, gang, in the middle of a dungeon? Can it? Can it wait a little bit? It can wait a couple minutes. All right. Thanks. Why not? It's your stream. No, I mean, like, will the bad guys kill me while I'm breaking? Like, will I be safe in this room? I should just log out, right? If I log out, am I safe? All right, we're in this creepy dungeon. It sounded like something was eating me. Uh-oh. Seems like I'm okay, but I do need food. Okay, we are running you know what do i need these 20 arrows i don't think i need these so i'm gonna need to grab more treasure how important you know what 20 wood not that important how important is gray dwarf eyes Pick up mushrooms just because we can eat them. Ah! Oh my god. What the hell is that? Did you guys hear a noise as soon as I picked that up? Did I awaken the beast? No clue on the dwarf eyes. Haven't seen a recipe for them yet. Okay. Very important to the gray dwarves. That's, that's a good point. That is a good point. It's probably very important to the gray dwarves. Okay. Gray Dwarf eyes might be a bit short-sighted. That's just the Crave crumbling. Oh, okay. That's all it is. All right, now where was that psychopath skeleton with my level one club? All right, right-hand rule would make me go this way, but this is a dead end. I wonder if there's secret doors. I'm a, I'm a runner. Did I call? I just called. No, I didn't. I didn't call. You heard Psychopath Skeleton? Oh, from Doom. <laughs> That's right. You are the Psychopath Skeletons from Doom. Are these shields on the wall? No. Did that Psychopath de despawn? No. Who's this? There you are. I love that you poisoned me, like, immediately. Am I gonna survive this? I will survive. I'll eat my raspberries. Hey, I survived it! Bone fragment. Amber. Mushroom. I bought the, uh, the kids their Valentine's Day gifts. 
Oh, nice. They get, they get Valentine's Day gifts? Yeah, it involves a lot of chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. I figure they're expecting it, so. <laughs> no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Well, that's true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was being overdramatic, and I hurt my shoulder. Was it worth it? No. Chest. Ooh, more rubies. And more certainly cores. I have no idea what certainly cores are for. And amber. And amber pearls. Man, you want that dungeon? You need cores? Was this a good one? A good... Good, uh, good dungeon for cores. They're certainly for something you need. No one expects the Spanish ammunition. Hey, Max Walton. All right, so how do I get out of here? I'm lost. Oh, here we go. So we've done it. We've cleared the dungeon, gang. We have cleared it. We have gone down all the various tributaries of the dungeon, cleared out an assortment of enemies and denizens, brought forth the fruit that the dungeon bared in the form of certain cores, and now we will exit to the surface and breathe the freshness of the air outside. <sighs> Sweet. Copper. Oh, a mining we will go. A mining we will go. I'm out of stamina. How much copper ore do we have? Only five? Get out of here, Grayling! Oh. It's really not the best weapon, was it? This is, whoever said it earlier was right. This is a huge copper deposit. 43. Hey, Vulcan. Thanks for the tier two. How you doing? Thank you so much for the tier two resub. Uh, so this is usually not your type of game. What is holding your interest? Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. Okay, all right. You missed. Hey, I got a skeleton trophy. 